first and foremost, how does it feel to be back here at the U? It feels good. You know, I was here as a player years ago, finished in 82, and then really didn't come back for until I was head coach in 2016. So 2016, 17, 18, being the head coach here, and it's it feels good to be back among my friends. Last night there was a uh, alumni, foot, football alumni event. I saw a lot of my old teammates, so it was a lot of fun. Back in the day, I remember when we spoke together at the fundraising event, you would joke about you know, being behind the college football legends that were in yes. front of you on the quarterback roster. Oh, yeah. But you've made such a big impact here as a coach, as a human being, and not just necessarily as a player. To be now a Hall of Famer here at UM, what does that mean to you? That means a lot. I mean, for I mean, the day the, the football showed up from the College Football Hall of Fame and said, welcome to the club, you know, my wife and I opened it up and embraced and just started crying. And it's a great, it's a great honor. And it never would have happened without the things that I learned as a player from Coach Snellenberger here at Miami that helped me become a coach. And then uh, as a as a head coach to have um, a couple good years and be, be a, a national coach of the year in '17, I think helped my resume and helped me get in the Hall of Fame. So eternally grateful. And coach, you're a little bit of a, a college football legend. You are, in fact. It's incredible to be talking with you right now. And of course, having the experience that I was an athlete here while you were coaching too. What would be your biggest piece of advice to the upcoming athletes, the next generation of athletes? Well, the bottom line is, even if, like with, with college football players, even if they go to the NFL, it's, it's three, four, five years, maybe 10 if they're lucky. But there's going to be a lot of living of life after football. And, uh, you know, I, I know this when, when players' hearts change and when people's hearts change towards uh, their relationship with Jesus, then their behavior begins to be change in a way that's going to bless them and, and their, their spouses and their children and their grandchildren, on and on. And uh, it just starts with one man or one woman making a decision like that. Coach, that's a good piece of advice right there. What's the biggest piece of advice you've ever received? Well, Coach Bowden at Florida State, I worked for him for 15 years. And when I was a young graduate assistant coach, he said to us as a group of young coaches, he said, if you want a better job, apply enthusiasm to the one you have. He said, because a lot of you guys are always looking for the next job, but just wherever you're planted, do the very best you can. And people will notice it. It'll help you get where you want to go. Doing your best and being your best no matter what, no matter where. That's right. I love it. Any other thoughts about being back? No, I'm just uh, glad the weather is beautiful for this spring practice and we're going to have a good time. Coach, go enjoy it. Thanks for talking to Inside South Florida. Thank you, Cam.